I'm a pretty sure it's fair, and this is Tyrone. Hello. Tyrone's my special guest. Um, and welcome to Leisure Lounge. Um, <clears throat> how's your day been? Oh, it's been long, but yeah. good. How's your hydration levels? <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone's been suffering from dehydration. <laughs> He says he doesn't like to talk to people about it, so I thought I'd bring it up. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> what is Tamaguchi? Is that what you're asking, Gina? So I've got this weird thing with chat where we're like about five seconds behind. So we're like in the future. Oh, it's like being in New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> Do you want to talk to the viewers about your um, terrible vertigo that you've developed since you've arrived? He's, uh, Tyrone's from Atlanta, Georgia. Close, Columbus, Ohio. It's, is it even close? No. Oh. Mm. It, it's, is Atlanta in Georgia? It, yes. Yay! <laughs> and I did live in Atlanta. You did. For 12 years. Because yeah. I want to be, uh, I want to become a citizen of the United States of um, Media Empire. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best place to be. Right. You get the best of everything without but, any of the bullshit. But I know. still want free pills. <laughs> Right, so stay here. Right? I mean, I'll get a test for anything. If I just think of it, I go get a test for it. I mean, yeah, my taxes are paying for it. I'm so jealous. <laughs> so jealous. I can't wait to become a citizen. <laughs> pay your taxes and get blood tests. <laughs> right. I will totally pledge my allegiance to the Queen or whatever you got to do. Oh, yeah, what do we do? I think you have to say that you honor the Queen or there's oh, yeah. something about the Queen. I've got a picture of her around here somewhere. Oh no, it's me. <laughs> Hilarious. So, um, you're terrible vertigo. Oh yeah. Um, basically, time travel gives me vertigo. So, I'm terrible gives me vertigo. Every once in a while, I'm faced with this weird thing where everything is run along, and I'm in the whatever century this is, and then all of a sudden, boom! I'm in the 1950s. <laughs> everything is happy, and then oh, there's not central heating in any of these houses. Whee! <laughs> oh. Yeah. A walk towards the light, Carol Ann. Uh, 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 wearing merino. Mm. With a space heater and a $700 power bill. Fuck, with a space heater? Oh, oh in one room. But Gina says we can... Oh, so Gina's from Texas. Um, oh, Texas. So she think, knows. Yeah. And, yeah, you know. Yeah, she knows. Apparently we can get root beer here now. <gasps> oh. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what root beer is really. And you probably won't like it. See, root is a th not, it might mean something different. No. Yeah. It's like the whole Fanny situation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> this is like a PSA. If you come to New Zealand, Fanny doesn't mean the back bottom, it means the front lady bottom that only ladies have. So when I heard the term, I'm just gonna go get my Fanny pack for the first time, I thought, is it? What, did she? Is she? Did she injure it? <laughs> is it like a ice? ice? <laughs> right. Yeah. Is it your fanny pack? Or maybe it's a hot pack. I don't know. Whatever the doctor said to do for her fanny injury. Yeah, I think you ice it for the first twenty-four hours. <laughs> <laughs> was it rest, ice, compression, elevation? Yes. <laughs> I don't know how you <laughs> elevate a fanny. You know? Yeah, I'm not really sure either. But apparently, she meant bum bag. Do you know what? Either way, they're not okay. No. Right. And weren't. Ever. In the 80s when they were popular. What's really funny is when cruise ships come in and they're like matchy matchy. Oh, I know. As much as I hate that orange little Oompa Loompa, that is a time when matchy matchy's not okay. You know, red, like, shell suit. Yeah, track suits with. Right, turquoise bum bag, oh. fanny pack. Yeah, bad, bad look. And you just know they've got one of those paranoid tourist, like, wallets strapped under their clothes. You know the ones. Yeah, my mom gave me one before I moved here. I gave my brother one before he went to Seoul. Because <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Right? Yeah, don't know what's <laughs> on the other side of those shores. Oh my, they, they could snatch your money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They'll just reach out. But it turns out that Seoul's very civilized. <clears throat> it turns out New Zealand is very civilized. Who knew? Oh, yeah. right. well, kind of. Well, mm. there's the whole vertigo thing. Yeah, like my fixed louvre window. Which, by my count, is a hole in the wall. I've, if I've, a window <laughs> don't shut, it is not a window. <laughs> it's a hole in the wall. I've got this, like, louvre window wooded in, and you can't close it. It's like my forefathers were scared of suffocating in the toilet. We need a lot of air in here. Auntie M's been on the toilet for a long time. Do you think she's okay? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have fixed over windows? Girl, she could die of suffocation. Oh. 
<laughs> so, um, yeah, no, it makes, it makes my bathroom unpleasant. If I won the lottery, I would totally, like, get it, but I would fix that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I was talking to a friend, and this is the last time in the next ten minutes that I'll say anything bad about New Zealand, because no, I love it here. We all love New Zealand. I, I love it. I love our single glazed windows and our drafty villas, the hole in the ozone layer that we didn't really have much to do with. <laughs> Right. I don't even have a dishwasher. Mm. I've got a cleaning girl. Oh, and disposable plates now. Yay! <laughs> See? That's what's... Disposable plates is what separates us from the animals. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty but, much. But because this is Wellington, New Zealand, and people love this environment, and I knew people would be all like, oh, you got disposable plates, I got the biodegradable kind. Now, I know they just put brown dye in there. Basically. Right? They're yeah. not going to biodegrade. I'm putting it in a plastic bag and it going in the dump. But to keep the peace, I paid two dollars extra for some brown forks <laughs> that are cheap and bendy. Yeah, you pay more for less. Right? Basically, because they're like biodegradable, so they're not very sturdy. <laughs> um, I got some shitty, shitty expensive forks. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's good marketing. That is good marketing. Right. So I'm just. Um, I got tagged in a post by. Um, Gina. Hi, Gina. Oh my god, yeah, sorry we were so late. Oh, sorry we were so late, sorry. I just lost track of time, and I was worried about talking about the important issues of the day. So, here's my take on the housing in New Zealand. Mm. Basically, in the US, these houses are illegal. <laughs> sorry, I think I just made the levels clip. Oh, it's not even a joke. Like, you could live in a house like this, but you'd never be allowed to rent it to someone else. Oh. It's illegal to make someone live in a house this cold. Not saying your house is cold, this is lovely. I know, but I've got a high power bill. Yeah. You know? Mm. Mm. I've got that oven running. It's <laughs> illegal! <laughs> I've got that dehumidifier, the heater, the heater, the heater. <laughs> <laughs> kind of rhymes with Laquisha, the heater. They could just call me the heater. I want shares in a power company. Oh, and I could buy them too because you're going to sell them. Oh, that's right. I think that's a real terrible idea. I am totally going to buy some assets. I thought I could buy some assets. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll spring for buy that. some assets. So I'll own a power company, and then when they call me up and say, "Miss Redfern, do you, are you aware that you've got an outstanding balance?" I'll say, "I'm your boss. <laughs> <laughs> I own shares. You can't call me. I'm a shareholder." Mm. You heard it here, by she. That's worth it. Right? <laughs> That's way easier than just changing the name of the power into some dead relative. <laughs> that I'm just saying, not that I would do that. Oh, look, I updated my photo. Oh, oh. I have a little beer photo. I love it. Yeah, that was hard. I had to ask people to help me because I had to use this design software and it was very highly confusing. Um, maybe I'll just post on the... Did, did we get through your original thing that I would vertigo? Uh, yeah, I think yeah, we've been through that. Yeah, vertigo. Yeah. And there was like some other point you were making about no... No, I made that. I oh, good, good. The housing here is illegal. Because I will just grab... <laughs> I will just grab the steering wheel. <laughs> the conversational steering wheel. Really? When did that start being a payment thing? Oh, is it because you're on your... Yeah, probably. I wonder if my credit card's maxed out. Oh, awkward. <laughs> uh, Visa calls up and I'm like, I told you not to call here anymore! I'm a shareholder! <laughs> you can't get a restraining order against your credit card company. Oh, really? Yeah, I checked. Oh. You can't get a restraining order against the police, though. I saw that. Right? <laughs> right, you cannot come to my house. <laughs> I love this country. Yeah, because we have this thing, uh, how, so it's like a weird, see, cause a lot of our laws are from England and from when England was a big farm. So a lot of our, like, they can clamp your car and tow it away laws actually relate back to a bunch of laws about what happens if your neighbor's cow wanders into your paddock. Not even joking. <laughs> so if your neighbor's cow wanders into your paddock, you can totally put a wheel clamp on it or have your neighbor's cow towed away. <laughs> 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 And so there's a similar thing with trespass, where there's this kind of assumption that in order for everyone not to be trespassing all of the time, it's, a, it's assumed that I'm okay with people coming up to my door and knocking on it. But I can kind of say, no, you can't. And I can say that to the police. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
I yeah. place I have gotten soy though. Well, and that was one of the things when I first moved here. I called back home and I'm like, y'all not gonna believe this. <laughs> first of all, the cops don't have guns. Wait a minute. That's an overstatement. They've got guns. They're just locked Lost. up in the trunk of their car. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Love this country. I've never really shot a gun before. Well, have you shot a gun? No, and that's oh. that's the thing about the There's way no gun shooting. No, that's the thing about the way America's portrayed. <laughs> um, like the like none of, countryside. None of my friends own guns or have guns, or <clears throat> I don't think most of them. But how do you protect your family? <laughs> See, that's bullshit TV that everyone thinks America is about. Not all of us have guns. Tyrone said in the record straight here. Yeah, somebody yeah. has to. Right? Because, like, I mean, a lot of what I know about America, I basically learned from family ties. Which is a nice place to learn about America, really. I wanted Mrs. Keaton to be my mum. Mm. I would have got into her makeup so bad. Oh. <laughs> and her hair straighteners. Although, did she have... No, she would have had... She had straight hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did the theme song go? Let's find the theme song online. <laughs> oh, text messages. Message. No, I don't even know what's going on. So I had some. I'm giving up on it, by the way. No one wants a. No one wants a live YouTube party. No. You never do this to me, Tyrone, which I'm grateful for. But sometimes people are like, "Oh my God, there's this like really totally great YouTube video," and then you kind of have to feign awkward interest because you're like, "This is shitty." But you're my good friend, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> my friends and I have this. Um, I wish I had arsenic to the bike down. Oh, we have. We have a pact. <laughs> and the deal is, unless it's absolutely hysterical and it must be watched, don't even bother. So things that I find mildly amusing don't ever get. So I'm just noticing that Kura's on. Hi, Kura. Hello. Hi, Kura. Kura? Kura, Kura. I'm never really sure of the pronunciation of her name. that. Every K-U-R-A. Oh, I'm getting it, all I can see. Oh. Everyone calls Kura. her Kura, but I called her Kura. Oh, that's because of that whole Maori influence. Yeah. Where you kind of put a hard thing in the middle of that R. Yeah, if it's a Maori word. Right. <laughs> Kura. Kura. Which confuses me, because it's almost like a T. Yeah. So... When people talk to me, I'm like, I don't know what that is. Is it a T? Is it an R? Is it a, it's a D? A Kuda? Yeah, I swear. It's Kuda. almost like a D, because it's not trilled very no, much. it's never trilled. Right. Yeah. But it, there's a stop in it. It's a Kuda. Yeah, Kuda. Ra. Da. 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 Ra. Kuda. To me, why? Is this good television? People? Probably not. So. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Way to stop the madness. <laughs> um, we have that much talent. I do have that much talent. And Tyron has taught me to embrace my Kiwi accent. Because I had so much shame with my broad New Zealand accent. New Zealand! Kiora. New Zealand is awesome. Um, so Gina says that they had gun rangers and her dad was a cop. Oh, but Gina's from Texas. Yeah. Texas has a whole different kind of relationship with guns. Not that everybody in Texas does, but... Is it like a creepy relationship? No, they just really embrace their... their gunness. Gunness. Never shot a gun. Like and I'm saying that, I really want to shoot a gun. I am not interested in shooting guns. Just once. No. I want one of those big, like... Tally ho! <laughs> you know, clay... Clay, clay pigeon? Clay Skeet pigeons. shooting? Skeet shooting, yeah. Mm. On a country estate. Actually, mainly I just want to go on a country estate, let's be honest. You'll we'll see, that's different. I could go watch someone. You know what? I probably just want to stay at the estate. Well, that's much the same way that I would like to go skiing. Right? Which is sitting in the lodge and having a, a nice hot chocolate while everyone else is getting cold outside in the snow. Yeah. So I, I have that same thing with hunting on a country estate. I'll sit in the lodge and eat whatever you catch. You know that um, the official name for a lizard scientist is a herpetologist? <laughs> a herpetologist. Wow. 
Oh. See, I would have thought they would be working down at the free clinic with a title like that. One would think. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they're concerning themselves with um, native Tuatara. Oh, those are the big lizards. Yeah. Yes. They're like dinosaurs. They're really ancient, and they don't really move much. No. There's not many left dogs at them, and cats. Oh. Yeah. I saw one at Zoolandia. Oh, Zealandia. 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 So here in Wellington, New Zealand, we have this like urban um, wildlife sanctuary, and there's this huge kilometers long predator-proof pred- pred- fence. <clears throat> it was basically a really finely woven chicken mesh wire that goes quite deep, so those bad little Bunnies, cats, and yeah, cats. Can't bury under it. Cats are, you're bad. She doesn't go outside enough to catch vermin. Um, and then they've got, on the other side, they've got this big kind of like hoop thing so they can't climb over. And so inside's all kind of native birds. And they're so trusting. They're so cute. And you can totally see what they've got eaten. Yeah. They've just got no fear of mammals. They, you should be scared of mammals, but they're just not. Those wood pigeons are pretty delicious. Mm. You're Which are the wood pigeons? The delicious looking ones. <laughs> Look, I don't know. They're not the pukekas, right? With the, the tall big ones with red? No. And blue. I don't know. Has anyone eaten a pukeko? I mean, imagine they're edible. We don't really have poison stuff here. Right. Yeah. That's why it shows these two islands over Australia. See, Australia's great, but it is full of a lot of scratchy body shit. And those are the people. <gasps> oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know um, I think it would be a good uh, kind of marketing thing? I think we've talked about this before, but because it's been school holidays recently and there have been a lot of stressed out mums losing their minds. I told you to shut the door, Timothy! No! I was like, fuck, it's not a big deal. Oh my gosh, she's lost it. Spray Ritalin. <laughs> you could just spritz them. <sighs> right? And then you could have. Like if your like nieces were coming over and you were a bit over them, oh, you, could, you could have those automatic sprayers, right? Air freshener. Yeah, yeah. Every what? fifteen minutes, mm. you know. <laughs> oh, she's getting a bit antsy. Oh no, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. I put um, a spray lavender in um, the bathroom at work, which you know, I mean, I don't get floral fragrances in the bathroom. I mean, it just sounds like you did a put on a rose bed, and it blasted me right in the face this one time. Mm. Who do I sue? <laughs> You can't really sue them. No, I would have had to get ACC. No. Oh, I had this accident because I got lavender spray in my eye. Yeah, it can't yeah. work. Yeah. 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 Money. They'd be like, no. <laughs> hey, it's Jack Yan. Hey! I'm in Hi. Charlie. <laughs> Hi. Um, this is, this is Tyrone. Hello, Charlie. He's joining us from Atlanta. Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Why am I so obsessed with Atlanta, Georgia? Because I talk about Atlanta. Because mm-hmm. I lived there for a while, but oh, that's not really... It. No. You know, you can live a couple of places, but there's always that place where you feel like you're from. Well, I've been to Paradise, but I've never been to me. Mm. <laughs> I've seen so many places and washed up. I don't know when we said that song. Did though? Yeah. 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 I think yeah. so.